It's Kevin Bagala, I'm 14 years old, and I recently created a bar of soap to help treat different forms of skin cancer. The world is changing fast, and taking initiatives more important than ever, especially in the world of invasion and innovation. It's not every day we see the kid leading the charge. While many teenagers are glued to the social media or playing video games, 15 years old Herman Kellen is doing something extraordinary. He's working on curing cancer through a simple bottle of soap. This is an incredible story of passion, innovation, determination to make difference. In this documentary, we will dive deep to the incredible story, discovering how his passion, hard work, are shaping the future of health. Welcome to Ide Chure Media. My interest in skin cancer came growing up in Ethiopia where I saw so many people that were working really long hours under the hot sun. But when I came here to America, I realized how big of a problem the sun and UV radiation is when you're exposed to it for really long periods of time. And so that's what inspired me to go towards skin cancer because really right now there are no affordable and accessible alternatives to the really pricey treatment in the market. Everybody uses soap, water, some form of cleaning. And so as that universal product, we chose that soap would probably be the best option. The 3M Young Scientist Challenge was where I first was given the platform to share my ideas. Basically, this compound-based bar of soap that's charged with different cancer-fighting chemicals to help treat different forms of skin cancer. Pretty much the way that it works is it uses this drug called imidazoquinolines, and it wraps it around this lipid-based nanoparticle. And the concept here is that even though the soaps and suds will be washed away by the soap, there will still be all of the medicinal components stuck there by the lipid-based nanoparticle. And this is kind of a more new and novel approach to fighting against skin cancer. It led me to think of things like topical application, like a cream or a bar of soap, because those are a lot more affordable and are a lot more accessible too. So that's what really got me to that bar of soap as the final product. I had a lot of mentors and I always stress the importance of mentorship and they really did help me with not only getting the ingredients but also learning how to synthesize lipid-based nanoparticles. This soap by fusing regular medicinal soap with a 50-30-20 ratio of salicylic acid, glycol acid, and tetranoin, which are all catalytic agents that slowly reactivate dendritic cells. After MKS is used, the soap releases toll-like receptors into your skin. These receptors latch onto dendritic cells, which reactivate them. The now reactivated dendritic cells then join with T and IO12 cells to fight infected HPV cells. To test my product, I programmed a Python model which used AUC and ROC curves to evaluate effectiveness based on skin conditions. I personally hope one day that skin cancer treating soap can turn into a more not-for-profit organization where we can really just distribute it to people that need it the most. Uh, for one, the marching band season starting up again, and I love participating in marching band. As well as that, I play chess, which is something that I absolutely love. I love to read. I love playing basketball. I, I just try to fit in time when I'm not doing research to pursue my own hobbies. Not necessarily to be the best at them, but just to have a really good time. A lot of people have this mindset that everything's been done. There's nothing left for me to do. To anybody having that thought, We'll never run out of ideas in this world. Just keep inventing, keep thinking of new ways to improve on our world, and just keep making it a better place. Kanan's story shows no matter how young you are, you can make the difference. For all of the kids with a big dream, know that you don't have to wait to grow up to start making an impact. Do parents and teachers encourage the curiosity in children because with the right support they can achieve incredible things. And for everyone else, remember that innovation starts with a spark, an idea and the courage to pursue it. Thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. See you next time. Bye bye.